Hello, Forest Protection Class. I am up the Big 20. That's Canada over there. And we are playing the Find the Spruce Budworm game. I have not checked this tree yet. I found one down on a tree over there. That's close, but no cigar. Let's see what we can see down here. As always, the most budworm are going to be up, but I do not fly, so. We are looking down here. That's not looking like much there. Let's go ahead and walk up here. What do I see? I see... A little tiny spruce budworm. So there's one. And let's go ahead on up here. there. So that one was smaller than the others I've been finding on this drive so far, which means the population is spread out over a couple of weeks. So they will mature a couple of weeks behind, fly a couple of weeks behind, lay their eggs a couple of weeks behind, and generally make things nice and confusing for us, which is completely normal. Seeing something up there. Come here. Oh yeah, somebody's home in there. Let's see if I can tease that out. Oh yeah, there he is. So there's our four dots. That's definitely Budworm. And he's spun down and successfully escaped from me. But that was two for that tree. Going down low. else do we see? Let's move on over to this one here. Looks like we have some Galadelgy going there. There's a lot of that out here. I'm finding this here. So do notice the difference in just the shape and size of this. So compared to my thumb here, how flat and wide that is. So see there, compared to another balsam fir with its leaves or needles fully in the sun. So you see how it's more of a bottle brush than a flat surface there. Out here on the sunny side, also the same. So they're both balsam fir, but you can tell quite a lot based on how the foliage is. So this is back to the original tree. I see one more I want to get at. This will be number three for this tree. So you see right there is what I'm looking at. Come up. There we go. And there he goes, I lost him. But there was number three in there. Let's see who else we can find. So generally, generally once you find some, you're pretty likely to find more on the same tree if you keep looking. You can assume that you're always going to miss a couple because sometimes they make nice little obvious nests. And sometimes they're just sort of hanging out. For these longer videos, what I want you to get an idea of is how long it takes to find budworm. There's just a few on a tree. What that looks like. Again, this is a very light or low population level right now. But these things can multiply in the right weather conditions. So we don't have... Seeing some poop there. That's definitely not a budworm there. There was.
Falls of Blood One Mary's left. There's a maybe. No. Let's move on over to this tree here. There's some good lower branches we can reach. Not seeing anything on this side. from somewhere up here, like maybe right there. So let's pull that down, pull that apart, and there he is. There is a lovely spruce bud worm. Four white dots, no stripes, definitely our guy. And you can see there's more higher up, that's all pretty sure bud worm poop. And if I had a ladder, I bet you I could pull a lot more out of this tree. But right now I'm just on foot, so there we are. So, low levels. Evidence that causes you to look farther. And if you were to be up there with a pulsar or a ladder, I bet you could find a lot more. Because, like most insects, budworm likes to be up high. There's more poop. all over here. Something here, no. No, it's more likely to be up high. But in any case, there's a few per tree. Make it a nice little messy mess. And they have the very real possibility of growing their population in a short time. This spring has been absolutely ideal for them because it's been warm and dry. If it was cool and wet, they would have a slower development because the cooler things are, the slower the metabolic processes go, meaning they digest food slower and can't be as efficient. Hello there. Who do we have? That might be dead. So there's a large number of viruses and parasites that affect these things. And a lot of mortality is just natural. The object of the game with a lot of spray programs is to take you from you know, 70 or 80 percent mortality to 90 something percent mortality. Which is enough to shift the direction of an outbreak if you are in the incipient stage of it. Quickly go inspect that one. It has some pretty well developed buds. I want to give you more than just 30 second clips of nail finding budworm. So let's just see what the process actually looks like. There's another spider buddy there. Looking up, I see a lot more of the same kind of spider. I don't know if they eat budworm. It'd be kind of nice if they did. Ah, what do we have here? We have a budworm. So you see, just like that, we keep looking, we keep finding. Anyway, 21st of June, big 20. That's Canada over the hill there. Funniest thing, going deep into the North Main Woods and seeing agricultural fields and dogs barking and all of that, but welcome to it. So Big 20, of course, is the township that's all the way up north in the state of Maine, the very tippy top. I wonder if we've got another one here. Wouldn't be surprised, but I don't see one. And I guess a couple per tree, and there would be a lot more if I could get up there. Okay. that. Oh, what was that? No, just a spider. Alright, that's it. See you next, uh, next video.